You have heard all this, you as a human being. Why don't you change? What prevents you? If each one of us asks that question, not verbally or merely intellectually as an entertainment, but ask that question most seriously and deeply, what's your answer? What's your answer to this problem that human beings have lived this way for m millennia upon millennia? Why haven't they changed? Why haven't you, who are, the, who are listening now, why haven't you changed? You know, if you don't change, what the consequences are, you'll be national, nationalistic, you'll be tribal, insular, isolated, and therefore having no relationship globally, fighting, 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 building up more and more armaments, destroy each other. Now, why don't you, if you are at all serious in this matter, why don't you ask yourself that question? Why am I a human being who have been through all this? Why haven't I changed? What would be your answer? Either you are not serious, you want to live a very, very superficial life, and that superficiality temporarily satisfies you, or you really don't care, as long as you have immediate pleasures, immediate satisfactions, you really don't care. You don't care for your children if they, if they are murdered, if you really have no deep uh, love, affection for them, if you had, you would prevent all wars. So, apparently, none of these things mean anything to you. All probably, you are so deeply conditioned, psychologically, of course, we are biologically conditioned, that's a different matter altogether. But psychologically conditioned, and one is not aware of it. And you can, unless that, in that there is freedom from that conditioning, you will go on this way. After all, life is one. one global unitary movement. So, in the same way, our consciousness is common to all mankind. Now, if I radically change, surely it affects the rest of the consciousness of man. Now, why don't you change? 